Our last guest today is Shelburne Stevens, president of Novant Health Brunswick Medical Center. Well, welcome to the show today, Shelburne. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Thanks, June. It's great to be back. I'm always so glad when you're here because we learn all kinds of great stuff about the hospital and it's always so much fun. So thank you so much for coming back. Absolutely. But some of our viewers may not have seen you for a while, so let's remind them about your, um, like your education and your background. Sure. So I started my career in healthcare several years ago. I was a respiratory therapist and uh, enjoyed doing that, but also liked leadership roles. So I went back and did my undergrad at High Point University mm -hmm. and then um, completed my MBA at Gardner Webb University um, and then came down here to the coast 10 years ago when Navant Health took over the old community hospital yeah. and have been here ever since and have loved everything about living <laughs> here in this community and being part of the community and the growth that we're seeing. Boy, that's the truth. It is great to be here. It's a great time to be part of Novant Health and to be here in Brunswick County. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, how long did you say you've been with Novant Health? 27 years. 27 years. That's, a, <laughs> that's great. That's awesome. It's a long time. <laughs> yeah, it is a long time. Well, I know one of your most recognizable um, accomplishments has been the opening up of the, the new hospital. Um, so remind me about some of the features that this facility has versus the old one. Well, besides being a beautiful facility, <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful. Um, we do have all private rooms yeah. and all the rooms have day beds in them for family members if they want They're to visit. Big too. They're very, very large rooms. Um, we have dining on call, so you can call and get your food delivered when you want it and those I type like things. That. Um, in our emergency department, it's all private rooms. We don't have bays mm -hmm. that are in there. Um, even in our surgical services, pre op rooms and stuff, it's right, private it rooms really with TVs. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it more convenient for the patient and their family family members that are there. And the, the staff there do a remarkable job of keeping the place looking brand new. They're yeah, very proud of the facility. They yeah. keep it clean and it looks just like it did um, when we first opened. Yeah. A lot of new technology there too. Absolutely. We've added a lot in surgical services. We mm -hmm. have mobile lithotripsy. We have stereotactic breast biopsy. We added the Da Vinci robot a couple of years ago yeah, for laparoscopic like surgery. We did um, a show on that. You did. And it's know. been... A um, couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of new technology going in there. Probably the biggest technology that's been the most exciting was the addition of the electronic health record. We mm. call it Dimensions. It's an epic platform, yeah. but it gives us one medical record, attaches to our outpatient clinics, um, and it's just really easy, especially with that MyChart portal. Man, I love MyChart. <laughs> yes, patients love it too. It's easy to go on there after hours and get appointments, right. get refills, ask your provider questions. Uh, it's just great technology that we've brought here. Yeah, th that's for sure. Um, how about stuff like uh, mobile mammography and things like that? Let's talk a little bit about that. You've added um, lots of teleneurology, telepsych. <laughs> So with technology, telemedicine is a big thing. So we um, don't have neurologists yet in this community. So we've added teleneurology so that we can have a, a neurologist on the TV screen who can assess mm -hmm. the patient, speak to them, zoom in and see their fingernails wow. and assess them. And the same with psychiatry. Mm -hmm. um, they can assess those patients real time right there with the nurse at the bedside. Um, and it's, it's just really convenient technology for the specialties that we don't have here yet in mm -hmm. the community. Yeah. For mobile mammography, we were able to start that a couple years ago. We have it one right. week a month. Um, but I'll jump ahead a little bit and say that soon, come April, we're going to have it full time here in the community. We'll have our own mobile coach um, with equipment that we can take to various locations mm -hmm. throughout the community that's wonderful. to make it convenient for patients. Yeah, that's really exciting to have it all the time and be able to go to those far Absolutely. outreaches um, of the community, of the county, and, and service the those patients who just can't make it into the hospital. Absolutely. With transportation the way it is, it's tough. Um, I think you added palliative care this year too, is that correct? We did, and um, palliative care sometimes gets confused with hospice. They're two totally different right. things, and it's really just to help you with any chronic illnesses and, and planning around that and, mm -hmm. and just helping you achieve the goals that you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. So we um, partnered with Lower Cape Fear Hospice and Palliative mm -hmm. Care to provide that service along with our physicians. They've all had a lot of extensive training mm -hmm. on how to deal with families and patients yeah. who may need that service. Doesn't mean you're at the end of your life. It no. just means you've got a chronic illness that's going to need a lot of attention. Yeah, that, and I just think that's a great service. I think Absolutely. that was something that we needed for a long time. So let's talk about the growth. 
<laughs> I, I see it everywhere. I see buildings. I see new signs. So where do we start? <laughs> There have been significant growth, um, both at the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, there's some days I'm ready to expand <laughs> some walls there. We're <laughs> out of space, um, which is a good thing. Is why we built the new facility to meet the needs of the community. But mm -hmm. even in the medical group, we have lots of outpatient clinics opening. Um, we've recruited a lot of primary care to the market. Yeah. Um, and then we also have a new building coming up on Highway 211 that folks may have seen. I see it every day. <laughs> it's Pine Forest Plantation. Uh -huh. um, there's a developer who's developing that. We're going to be the anchor medical tenants. Uh -huh. So our Southport um, Family Medicine location will be moving there later this summer and that will be their main office. They're going to have a lot more space. Uh -huh. um, we're adding some services there such as x-ray to their clinic um, and eventually we want to have some convenient care hours there for the community. But with the developers plans of assisted living and some of those things there in retail, it's a good fit for us to be able to meet the needs of the communities around 211 such as St. James and Palmetto Creek and Winding River. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be really convenient for those folks. I also heard that um, there's a new endoscopy. Yes. So we're opening up an outpatient endoscopy center, hopefully by the end of summer. Um, we filed a certificate of need last year for an additional room. Right. And that's just going to be down the street from the hospital at the Brunswick Medical Campus. Oh, yes. There'll be two endoscopy rooms that's there. That's where the VA clinic is. It's right next door to that. Mm -hmm. um, so we're real excited what that means. It's more convenient for patients. You don't have to come to the hospital and be around sick people. You can come have your procedure and go home. And we're also putting our GI clinic there for the providers mm -hmm. as Nice. well next door nice. and we're still recruiting for additional GI physicians. It's a big so need. So if there's anybody out there watching and they'd they, like to apply. They just need to give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're real excited about that. That's that going to be exciting. at a lower cost structure for patients and their co-pays should be a lot lower. So it'd be much more convenient than having to go to Myrtle Beach or Wilmington. Right. Yeah. Well, wow, there's so much going on. How do you keep it all straight? There's so much going on. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Um, we touched briefly on, on specialties, and I, I think that you're growing your neurology um, service and um, all that. Can you talk a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, so we have hired our first outpatient neurologist who will be coming in May. Wow. Um, he'll be down in Shalot um, seeing patients there. It's a big need for this community. Very big need, Everyone yeah. has to go out of the county to seek a neurologist. So. He's well experienced, um, and I'm sure we'll have him on the show when he gets here. I'm sure we will. To introduce him. And as well, we're also opening up behavioral health clinic because um, that's a big need in the community, sure too, yeah. to meet those needs of patients. So we're excited to have that open this summer with the psychiatrist and several counselors. So we'll get them on your show as well. <laughs> You've got them all lined up for us, right? That's right. <laughs> that's right. Um, let's talk a little bit about some of the things that the hospital's done in the community over the last few years. I know there. Um, it was very visible at the Brunswick Beacon Health Fair. There was remarkable you. Um, things like that I've seen uh, being offered in the community. Can yeah, you? so we do a lot of free screenings. That's mm -hmm. what the remarkable you is, mm -hmm. where we do blood pressure checks, cholesterol checks, A1C for check mm -hmm. for prediabetes. We've mm -hmm. had several patients that were pre-diabetic, had no clue. We were mm -hmm. able to identify that and get them in with the provider so they could get that managed before it's out of control. Yeah. So it's been a lot of great things like that. We have a very active also hospital foundation that's involved in the community. Right. Um, they've started um, a several different funds around prescription assistance. Patients mm -hmm. who can't afford their prescriptions and we have criteria and if they meet that then we give them vouchers to go get their prescriptions nice. filled to help meet that need. Mm -hmm. And we just started a patient assistance fund, fund which will also help them um, with needs of like durable medical equipment. If someone needs oh, a walker, walker or a wheelchair for oh. home um, or, or just transportation back and forth to do that. It's, it's oh. just to help meet the other needs outside of medications for yeah. patients. Yeah, because oftentimes, and I, I mentioned this earlier, with the transportation the way it is in Brunswick County, it's often difficult for patients to get where they need to be to get the care. Absolutely. So, it, and that fund could help with that. Is that correct? Yes, it can. Wow, that is awesome. Well, you are one busy man, and but I want to ask you one final question: What are you most proud of, and what what do you um, can we expect from Novant Health in the future? You're going to see more growth. 
<laughs> As the county continues to grow, um, our goal is to provide all the providers that we can to meet the community needs in those locations. So that's why you see our clinics scattered throughout Everywhere. the county. Mm -hmm. Our specialists have satellite clinics throughout the county. Um, but I'm also very proud of the team we have built here. Mm -hmm. If you go into the hospital or our clinics, everyone is very um, friendly. Mm -hmm. they, they know you by name. Mm -hmm. they, they treat you like family. Yeah. So that's probably the one thing I'm most proud of is just the, really the atmosphere that we have built here to keep bringing great health care locally here in Brunswick County. Well, for me, I have to say thank you so much. Thank you for bringing um, that great health care here and uh, you've done a great job. And Thank you, it's the whole uh, team. <laughs> I want you to come back because you always have such great information. So uh, come back and we'll talk about some other great stuff. That sounds great, look forward okay. to it. Thanks again. Yeah.